Welcome to the FishFlix.com Christian Movie Podcast. Every Wednesday, we review a Christian film, informing you about the story, production quality, and family friendliness. Our goal is to bring you all the latest news and insights on Christian movies and recommend wholesome films for you to watch together as a family. I'm your host, Noah Metzger, and today we'll be reviewing God's Not Dead 2. In this day and age, people seem to forget that the most basic human right of all is the right to believe. No prayers, no moments of silence, nothing. Think of the other children out there who are subjected to their repressive belief system. If we sit by and do nothing, the pressure that we're feeling today will mean persecution tomorrow. We're at war. What makes nonviolence so radical is its unwavering commitment to a nonviolent approach. Isn't that sort of like what Jesus meant when he said that we should love our enemies? Yes. You have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. One of your students sent a text to their parents. Did this happen? If you're asking whether I responded to a student's question, yes. And your answer incorporated the words of Jesus. What were you thinking, Grace? The Thollies are asking that you be fired, plus revocation of your teaching certificate. How do we make this go away and not get blood on our hands? We let the ACLU do it. We're going to prove once and for all that God is dead. God's Not Dead 2 is releasing next month on April 1st and was produced by PureFlix Entertainment. The film stars Melissa Joan Hart, Ray Wise, and David A.R. White. This film is the continuation of 2014's mega-hit God's Not Dead and continues the story of certain characters while introducing new ones simultaneously. If you're interested in finding out more about this film after our review, it will be available soon on our website at www.fishflix.com. From the college classroom of God's Not Dead to the public square in God's Not Dead 2, the name of Jesus is welcomed less and less with each passing day. If Christians don't take a stand today, will we even have a choice tomorrow? Welcome back to Hope Springs, home not only of Hadley University, but also Martin Luther King Jr. High School, where beloved teacher Grace Wesley helps students understand and enjoy history. Her love of teaching, her love for her students, and her love of life all come from the same place, her love of Christ. So when Brooke, a hurting student grieving the loss of her brother, reaches out to Grace, their coffee shop conversation naturally leads to Grace sharing the hope she finds in Christ. When Brooke later asks an honest question about Jesus in the classroom, Grace's reasoned response lands her in big trouble, almost before she even finishes giving her answer. With the principal and superintendent joining forces with the zealous civil liberties group, Grace faces an epic court case that could cost her the career she loves and expel God from the classroom and the public square, once and for all. God's Not Dead 2 is the highly anticipated sequel to the beloved Pure Flix movie from 2014 and features an all-star cast. Coming to theaters beginning April 1st, 2016, God's Not Dead 2 will have audiences standing proudly for what they believe, while they still can. Where will you stand? God's Not Dead 2 was an obvious movie to make. After the huge success of God's Not Dead back in 2014, it only made sense that Pure Flix would release a follow-up film. And after more successes like Do You Believe last year, God's Not Dead 2 continues the trend with what will most likely be another box office sensation. I had the opportunity to go watch this film pre-release and I can definitely see how they've been able to improve over the first film. The production value is clearly bigger and better and I didn't notice nearly as many production flaws as I could with the first film. I appreciate their willingness to improve over previous films and I would say it was very apparent here. God's Not Dead 2 definitely tries to continue the same idea of the first film, although it was taken to a much bigger scope. It all led up to a huge and exciting courtroom battle and I really appreciated the intense courtroom scenes. It made me think of old courtroom dramas like Perry Mason episodes or Inherit the Wind. They definitely tried to take the scope to the next level in this movie, making it bigger than just a student in a classroom. Another thing I appreciated about this film was how it continued the stories of certain characters from the previous movie. I enjoyed seeing the pastor Dave, Martin, and Amy all back from the first film. I particularly enjoyed the continuation of the story of Martin. At the end of God's Not Dead, we see him become interested in faith, and this movie follows up with that story, bringing us the next chapter of his life. If you enjoyed the original God's Not Dead, you are sure to enjoy the sequel. This movie does a great job of recapturing the same feel while also introducing new plotlines and new ideas. It didn't feel like a retread or repeat. 
This movie covered new ground and made some obvious improvements over the first film. The story of Pure Flix Entertainment is a fascinating one as they have risen to popularity over recent years with films like God's Not Dead and Do You Believe? This movie has a similar call to action like the first movie, and I'm sure word about this movie will spread just as much as the first. I look forward to seeing how this movie is received and how it does at the box office. The original God's Not Dead surprised not only Christians, but the secular market with its amazing success at the box office, and hopefully this film will have the same kind of reception. This film is appropriate for all ages and contains very little content that could be considered objectionable. The idea behind this film is that it will appeal to all ages and be a good and wholesome film for families to go and watch together. But as always, we recommend you watch the film first and decide if it's appropriate for your particular family. If you would like to find out more about God's Not Dead 2 or would be interested in purchasing it, you can visit our website at www.fishflix.com. While we don't have the film available on DVD just yet, we'll have it in stock as soon as it's available. On our website though, we have a vast assortment of Christian films you can learn about or purchase. We have a large collection containing both classics and brand new movies that are just releasing, all at incredibly low prices. Thank you for joining us, and as always, please be sure to stay tuned as we bring you more reviews every week on the fishflix.com Christian Movie Podcast.